In this video, we're going to talk about XRP and give some predictions for the future. We'll also overview Elon Musk's opinion about the project. Disclaimer. Also, if you want to have a lifetime 10% discount on all commission fees on Binance, then click on the link in the description. XRP holders attempt to intervene on ongoing SEC v Ripple standoff. The XRP crypto community seems to have had enough of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's fight against Ripple as they have once again filed to intervene in the case. The XRP holders have asked to jump in the ring as they believe both the SEC and Ripple do not represent their interests per their new filing. XRP holders say SEC's interest differs from theirs. Attorney John Deaton filled the notion on behalf of XRP holders on April 19th. Deaton submitted the document at the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. The XRP community noted that many businesses had been hurt ever since Ripple was charged in court by the SEC for allegedly selling XRP tokens as investment contracts. According to the document, XRP users, investors, holders, developers, content providers, and small businesses connected to XRP and the XRP ledger all have a significant interest in the case. On this basis, XRP holders seek to participate in the lawsuit as a third-party defendant to protect their interests. Deaton emphasized that they are only after their interest and not asserting any claims or counterclaims against the SEC. In a recent blog post, Deaton further explained that the SEC did not appear to show any consideration for the retail investors that would be on the receiving end by their enforcement action. When we asked the court to hear our voice, the SEC scoffed and insulted us in their formal response, saying that all of us who suffered collateral damage from their ill-conceived lawsuits should remain silent. Without our intervention, we are without a voice in a debate of great stakes for us and the holders of all digital assets in the United States. Additionally, Ripple's XRP ledger protocol, a threat to India's banking system. While Ripple is embroiled in the legal battle with the SEC, it appears India is threatened by its technology. According to a report created by Ernst & Young EY for the Competition Commission of India CCI, Ripple is being seen as a potential competitor to the Indian traditional banking system. The Asian nation is known for its strict regulatory oversight on cryptocurrencies. India is reportedly looking to outlaw private crypto ownership in a new bill that has placed the future of crypto companies in limbo. However, India's issue is not about Ripple being a cryptocurrency, but instead about its blockchain technology and cross-border payment service, which it believes is a threat to financial institutions. Apart from Ripple having the XRP token, it is also a blockchain payments company that offers services across 55 countries. The company has also positioned its cryptocurrency XRP as a neutral bridge to link various central bank digital currencies. Alright, so let's move to some more optimistic news about the new XUMM wallet v2.0. Zum has now released a brand new updated version of its most popular wallet for XRP tokens, Zum 2.0. As mentioned in the official release notes by the XRPL Labs, the new update executed compatibility with iOS and Android-based devices. One of the key features of this updated version was its implementation of the Casino Coin token swap along with 11 other main functionalities. A few functionalities of the Zum Wallet included the Scan QR button in the middle of the bottom button bar was replaced by a Launcher button where the Scan QR button was located. Introduced XApps XApps are small apps by the XRPL Labs team and curated by third parties. XApps are available in Zum to access specific XRP ledger features straight from the launcher button. Added themes Besides the existing light theme, dark, moonlight, and royal were available. Settings, general, theme. Added support for holding, sending, and receiving NFTs based on the XLS 14-day standard proposal. Added the option to hide accounts from the account switching panel, for example, for unused and active accounts only used as a regular key. In terms of developer experience, the new version comes with an updated SDK and reviewed KYC procedures for engineers who experiment with ZUM functions. 
Apart from these features, five other additions were implemented as mentioned in the release notes. In the latest update, Zum Wallet added support for holding, sending, and receiving non-fungible tokens. Now, users will be able to trade and exchange collectibles created in accordance with the XLS 14-day standard proposal. The aforementioned updates were in line with the ZUM roadmap plan. According to this map, their next upcoming release included ZUM 3.0, set to be announced in mid-2021 as specified in the mid-2020 blog post. We already developed a couple important features required for ZUM 3.0. They are present, but hidden, in ZUM 2.0, so we can start testing ZUM 3.0 features with selected community members. This allows us to work our way towards a fast and smooth ZUM 3.0 release later this year, as stated by the company. Recently, if you use Twitter on a regular basis, you could see how many XRP posts come from Elon Musk, claiming to be real. In reality, Elon Musk has never tweeted anything about XRP or Ripple, given that this is a fake profile. Similar things have happened in the past, for example, Peter Schiff or Mike Novogratz, and unfortunately the problem persists. For example, Jack Dorsey's tweet announcing the launch of his Bitcoin node was followed by at least two fake profiles inviting people to participate in improbable BTC giveaways. The fact is there have been two attempts to artificially pump the price on both XRP and Dogecoin recently, so it is not surprising that these fake profiles decided to try to promote these two cryptocurrencies by misusing Elon Musk's name. To be honest, it is strange that Twitter accepts such behavior, and perhaps it could be Elon Musk himself, the real one, who was asking for fake profiles like this one to be blocked. Why Elon Musk might not support XRP While it is well known that the real Musk is interested in Dogecoin, it is also known that he has never shown any interest in XRP or Ripple. Moreover, while Dogecoin, like Bitcoin, are decentralized projects created by free citizens who then have somehow donated them to humanity, XRP is instead a project created and carried out by a private company, Ripple, which is obviously not decentralized at all. It would be rather strange if, in light of this, Elon Musk were to become interested in Ripple. The fact that an attempt was also made on XRP to organize an artificial pump, which then failed, to apparently protect the cryptocurrency from SEC's attack, should not be misleading. True Bitcoiners who recognize decentralization as the primary advantage of cryptocurrencies would never support a battle to support XRP. And given that Elon Musk is apparently a true supporter of Bitcoin, it would be somewhat surprising if he did. Well, don't forget to comment your honest opinion about this project. I will try to reply to each of them. And where can you buy XRP? Well, you can buy it on Binance.com. If you want to have a lifetime 10% discount on all commission fees on Binance, then click in the link in the description. But note that I'm not forcing you to invest in this project. It's 100% your personal decision. Don't forget to check out our other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.